Hi everybody, so I'm going to try to get through this video fairly quickly because I want to have it up for you as soon as I possibly can. I just want to say that this look is simplified, but it's not necessarily easy. It does take time, but the reason that I say it's easier is because the design is much less complex than my other neon skulls, and I'm also using products that are a lot easier to access. So you can possibly do this with stuff that you already have in your collection, or you can just go grab it at the store. So I already have my eyes done. I will actually have a separate tutorial for that up later this week, but I used Anastasia's Norvina Volume 2 palette for my eyes, and I'll be using this palette for the skull look as well. Before doing any eyeshadow on your face, you just want to make sure you start off with a good base. I like to use foundation. You can use, you know, foundation concealer or primer, whatever works for you, just to make sure that the shadows apply well over your skin. I'm first using the shade B3, and I'm going right in and starting to make the design. I'm basically just doing it like along my cheekbone right around where my contour would go and dragging it around to create the shape of the bone. Then I'm curving that line downwards around my mouth to connect it to where the teeth will be. I'm really working the shadows to buff it in and blend it out to make the lines nice and thick. I'm also making some lines for the shadows in between the teeth and I'm only doing a few on each side because I want the teeth to be bigger which will make them a lot easier to add details to later on. After mapping out the teeth, I'm shading a lot more green around them and basically just covering my lips and blending that color outwards. Now to add some darker shading, I'm using the D5 eyeshadow. I'll also be going in with E3 eyeshadow here and there just to kind of blend the D5 more smoothly into the lighter green color. So I'm shading a lot around my mouth, like along the lips, and then creating a dark line that runs underneath my original green one. I'm doing a lot of back and forth with the shadows just to blend them together nice and smooth. I'm also adding dark shading along the lines for the teeth. Hopefully you can see I've extended one of the teeth lines up through the green to connect to the darker cheekbone line. I'm just continuing to work this shadow in and really just blend it out with green and build up the pigment. By the way, the formula of the Norvina palettes is amazing. I am truly in love with them. Now for this next portion, I'm using the white concealer from ColourPop. You can use white concealer, a white eye base, white cream liner, or white cream face paint. I'm basically just creating a white line within the green shadow. I'm extending that line down to one of the teeth to create the outline of that tooth. Basically for the teeth, I'm doing sort of like teardrop shapes. I'm just using the white concealer and creating the shapes and working them. For this step, I'm using a very small and thin concealer brush as well as a liner brush. Once I've got the shapes down, I'm using smaller detail like blending brushes to pat out the concealer and really even it out, especially around my teeth since the teeth are sort of, you know, small, like the design's a little bit detailed. I'm using, um, you know, small fluffy brushes, but then I'm using a bigger fat smudger type brush to pat out the concealer along my cheek. So I'm just continuing to use detail smudging and blending brushes to really work in that concealer. I'm also going back and forth a little bit with the green to make the transition nice and blended. So now I'm using the shade A2 and I'm going to just be packing that over everywhere where I already applied the concealer. This shade is so gorgeous and unique. There's not a ton to say to this step, I'm really just covering all the concealer with this shade. And I'm going back in with the green here and there just to make sure that the shapes stay really nicely defined and blended smoothly from the light neon color into the green into the dark blue. With neon looks to create the illusion of like glowing light, you just want to get lighter and lighter towards the center, if that makes sense. For the final layer, I'm going to be creating a pure white line, and I'm using a mixture of the white concealer and ColourPop's white gel eyeliner. This is pretty self-explanatory because I'm basically doing the same thing I did with the white concealer. I'm just creating thin lines within the center of my design. So I added some of the concealer to the gel liner because the gel liner itself is a little too thick for me to work with. I prefer to thin it out a little bit. But you can also use a white liquid liner, but just be warned that this will crack a lot since it's on your cheeks and your face obviously moves a lot. So it can just really easily crack and flake off. You can also use white face paint, like cream face paint, which would also work really well for this step. So 
So here you can just see me quickly following the same sequence of steps for my nose. I'm starting off with the green shadow to create the blended out shape. Then I'm filling that in with dark blue. And then I'm going in with the white concealer, patting it in, and then packing on the light greenish yellow shade over top. Then finally finishing it off with a white line in the center. To finish up the look, I decided to add a quick little sparkle using Anastasia's Snowflake Highlight. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully it'll help you create a neon effect without necessarily having neon or special products. You can kind of find the stuff to use within your collection or just run to the store and grab something really quickly. I love you all so much. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and keep a lookout for the tutorial on this eye look that will be going up in a few days.